Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I will show you how to create a superb environment for your renders in no time. Let's go! Alright guys, so it's really easy. All you need to do is grab a plane. So Shift A and grab a plane. I'm gonna zoom in here and go to edit mode. Uh, right click and subdivide and then you're gonna press shift R a a few times to repeat that operation, okay? Now if you're interested in learning Blender, especially hard surface, we've got a fantastic course for you and it's free. So this course will tell you everything you need to know about starting with Blender, how to set up the UI, how to understand all the menus, how to start modeling, how to operate with different tools, basic modifiers, how to render and how to create your first portfolio piece so you can start hunting for the dream job you always wanted. The link to the course is in the video description and like I said the course is absolutely free. Enjoy! So it's you know fairly dense, not super dense. We can also add some subdivision modifier to it on top of that. You can do it with hard ops, you can do it with blender. So if you have hard ops you go here to modifiers, if you, have, if you don't have hard ops you go here to subdivision surface and I reckon maybe two in render and one in viewport will do so it's not gonna slow down your viewport that much okay now what we need to do is we need to actually uh, plug some nodes to it with textures because we're gonna be using displacement map to create this environment now you could make it bigger if you wanted to so you could scale it up but my advice to you is to not apply scale once you do that so keep the scale as is okay now here, let's open the shader editor by simply dragging this window up. Go to shader here and click on object. Now we need to add some mud to it. So let's do that. Go here and click on the mud. And now we're going to split it a little bit. So click here, press G, move it in here. We're going to get a displacement map here. So I'll grab a displacement map and also we're going to need an image texture. Okay, so image texture. And now we're going to plug the displacement to displacement and color to height. Now what we need to do is we need to go to ArtStation and download 25 free displacement maps by Jose Vega. Once you come to his ArtStation, um, you can go here to the store and you will see that among many, many things, he will have free displacement maps for terrains. So grab these maps and once you do that, you need to um, unzip them and once you unzip them you're gonna have a folder from which you can load maps into this image texture node you will see a folder called terrain uh, go to whichever folder you want and simply you know double click and you're good to go now nothing will happen because the displacement is visible only in cycles so you just switch to cycles and there you go now you can see something now it's not displacing properly yet we need to change one more setting under materials. So let's go to mat here, scroll down to settings, which is here. And then all you need to do is change from bump only to displacement and bump. And there you go, there's your terrain. Now the terrain doesn't have any color, but adding color to the terrain is really easy. And I'll show you how to do that. So all you need to do is click here and change it to some kind of a sandy color and that uh, you're good to go. The terrain is going to be a little bit soft and kind of um, weird looking, like wet looking. So all you need to do is bump up the roughness uh, and then right click and shade smooth. And technically you're good to go, right? Now if you want to make it a bit more interesting, what you can do is you can actually load in another texture that's going to be adding some color. What I would like you to do is go to polygon.com, it's a, a website about Andrew Price, and download the free rock texture. And you will see here free polygon textures. Scroll down and you will see this rock texture. So download it and you're good to go. Once you download it, uh, we're going to create another texture group here. So Control T. Now, if you do not have these three nodes popping up, what you need to do is go here to Preferences and under Add-ons, enable add-on called Node Wrangler. Okay, so enable that. Then you can click on this BSDF mod Control T and these three nodes going to pop. Now here we're going to load in the uh, albedo texture from the texture pack downloaded from polygon.com. Now when you open the folder you'll see a lot of maps, but the one you want is the one named color, so albedo. So either this or this, doesn't matter which one it is, you just, you know, load it in. Now you're going to load in the full st strength of this map, uh, but you can do a few things with it. So for example, what you can do is change it into a kind of like a snowy volcanic ash kind of area. So if you, for example, add here color ramp, 
um, and you're going to bump up some of these settings here especially the black one now you can see that you can kind of fine tune this and create kind of like a volcanic you know volcanic sort of a slush snowy area uh, here another thing that you can do let's just unplug this plug it back in here and uh, we're going to actually duplicate that uh, now to shift D and we're going to run a shader here so mix shader so mix shader plug it in here and we're going to plug this mix shader to the output here uh, plug this color here and this color here now what you can do is you can adjust the slider here the factor and you can slide it back and forth and you know you can either pump more of this um, texture from the um, from this polygon pack or you can actually give more importance to the bsdf textures from blender so what you can do is kind of introduce a little bit of sort of like a variation to this terrain so it's not going to look so boring uh, but at the same time it's not going to be you know uh, kind of overwhelmingly uniform like this in addition to this what you can do is you can play with the scale uh, so if you go here to these coordinates here you can actually play with scales so you know you can grab this uh let's say rotation you know you can rotate this texture you can scale it on x you can create kind of like streaks like this so you can do a lot of interesting stuff with it um you know through the notes so there you go guys that's how you can create some really cool terrains very quickly some backgrounds for your works i created quite a few works with these terrains and they're really easy to use especially when you're going to add some cool lighting to it and a lot of fun to play with thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one